In this session, we're going to have a look at how you can achieve screen buildups using variables and display conditions. So this is what I want to achieve. I have an image and some text and then a button saying, show me the next step. And when I click on that, it then shows me further text and an image and another button. And if I click on that, I get my third step in there. So let's have a look at how you actually achieve that. First of all, in the editor, I've set up a screen with my text and with my three images there, and also with the two buttons. And what we then also do is to set up some variables that we can use to trigger display conditions. So if I just go back to my project, and now what I do is just to have a look at the variables I've set up here. So click on the variables tab at the top left. And I've set up these variables here. The first ones I've got uh, to be able to say show step two. And I set that to default to being false. So when we first go into the screen, I don't want to show step two. Similarly, I have another variable called show step three. That's also set to false. And just so we can switch the buttons on and off, I've also added in these variables here to say, show the step two button. And initially I want that be, to be true. So that will appear when I first go into the screen. And then also the show step three button, that's false. So that won't appear until I actually change the value in the variable and it triggers a display condition. So let's have a look at the display conditions and actions that I've set up. So if I go back to the editor, first of all, on step one, I don't have any display conditions on the text and the image because I just want those to appear as soon as the screen um, actually appears. So what I've also got here is the button. And this does have a display condition. So on the right hand side, if I just click that, I've chosen the user variable display condition. And the variable I'm using there is my show step two button. And to say show this button if show step two contains the value true. And since that was my default value, then that should appear when the screen first appears. And then what I've also got on that button are some actions. So when I click that button, what's going to happen? So if I click on actions on the right hand side, again, what I'm doing here is the actions I want is to set variables. So when I click that button, first thing I want to do is change what's stored in the variable show step two to store the value true. And the same with show step three button to be true. And also, because when I click on that button, I want to actually hide it as well as it moves on to the next step, I then set the variable show step two button to be false. So clicking that button is going to achieve all three things there. And then in step two, what I have on the text there, I have a display condition. So let's have a look at the display condition here. So again, it's display condition based on what's stored in a variable. And again, here, the variable is show step two. And so I want to display this when that contains the value true. So as I click on the show step two button, I set the value of this variable to be true. So that will then display the text. And similarly, I have the same display condition on the image. So show step two equals true. So when I click on this button, it should show this text and that image. And now on the button to show step three, it has a display condition of show step three button equals true. So again, so in clicking on the show step two button, it should then change the variable values so that I see the text step two, the image, and also the button. And now let's have a look at this button because this button also has actions attached to it. And so let's click on actions and see what this button does. 
And again, it has two actions here. First one is to say show the step three button, as in set the value to be true. So we'll trigger another display condition. And also I want to hide the button once I've clicked on it. So I set the value in show step three button to be false. So that should then in effect switch off that button on the screen. And in the same way as we had for step two, if we now have a look at the display conditions on step three, the display condition on the text just says, if the value in the variable show step three is true, then display it. So that will happen when I cl click on the show step three button. And similarly here on the image, we have the one display condition, which to say show step three is true. So what's happening here is by clicking these buttons, we're changing the value of variables, which will then trigger the different display conditions. So let's just have a look at that again. If I just go back here, just reload the screen. So here I have step one text, the image appearing, and the button here. Now, if I click the button, this is where it will uh, begin to set variables. So click there, it hides its own button, it enables these display conditions on step two, and the button, if I click the show step three button, again, that will trigger the actions to set further variables, and now it shows step three. So that's creating a screen build-up using variables and display conditions.